Okay, what's going on? Big Tito checking in. Area rider Kepler V2. And we're just going to go ahead and hit up two lakes. I got about four lakes where I live at. I, I had a video with Centennial Lake, but now we're going to Lake Elkhorn and uh, one other lake. So uh, instead of starting a video from my house, we're going to start right here from the lake. So let's get it in. area that I live in. Come on, folks. Wait, 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 wait. Here. And like I tell y'all all the time in my video, I try to get out here early when I go around the lakes because it's definitely always people walking. So you try to get the least amount of people as possible. It's an awesome day today. It's only like 70 degrees. So this is like weather-wise one of the best days so far in a while. I'm starting to see a bunch of videos now. Kepler's, Kepler's out in the wild everywhere, getting it in. Oh my God, what is going on? See everybody getting it in. So that's awesome. Yeah, we got two awesome lakes right here. So we're gonna go around half of this lake right now. No problem. We got a headphone bandit. Headphone bandits. But yeah, like I was saying, we're gonna go halfway around this lake here, uh, which takes us, which segway, segways us to the uh, to the next one. Now, it's a little, it's a little bit we gotta ride to to get to the next one, but it, it's still awesome. And mind you, guys, this is early. You see how many people out here. This is on a weekday and it's early. And this is still how many people we got to encounter out here. That's that's why I don't really do lakes too much. Now, I don't mind it myself, but when you're trying to film and you're trying to get around, like I said, all y'all going to do is see me binging, ringing the bell all day. Because I wanted to go home. close to 500 miles on this Kepler, so I'm going to do a 500 mile review pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. Got a little creek over here on the left and the lake is, I don't think we reached the lake yet, but it'll be on the right hand side. But they got all these bushes, so it's kind of hard to see. But when we come back, I will go on the dock last time on my last video centennial they had i wanted to go to the dock at that lake but they had it uh they had it all blocked off so hopefully this one's not blocked off we'll be able to get it in but my goodness man i'm seeing way too many zombies out here this this is this is defeating the purpose of getting out early oh man it's crazy i guess i ain't the only one that want to get it in but hey I'm trying to take a peek over to the other side where the pier is at to make sure, okay, it looks like it's clear over there. So on the way back, we will, uh, we definitely will go on that side and check it out. Yeah, so we got the lake to us on the right, but they always cover it with all these bushes right here so you can't really see. And like I said, that's why on the way back, we, we'll, we'll step down to the dock, take a nice little look at the lake. I believe the uh, Lake Elkhorn has a dock too, so we'll, we'll kind of stop right there and check it out. But yeah, just basically having a nice cruise. Weather's nice. AR Kepler, let's go. Definitely blessed to have a, a, such so many, I, I mean, I have access to so many things 
Like this bike is so big that like I, I can't transport it anywhere right now. So every video I do is literally leaving from my house to go do it. But I'm blessed enough that I have so many awesome spots that just from my house and with the range and power of this Kepler that I could get to with no issues. All right, so that was halfway around the lake there, but we're gonna turn up here and we're gonna go to the other lake. And then, like I said, we'll do the second half of this lake on the way back. So to get to this next lake, we got a little bit of adventure to go to. Check out this tunnel right here. It's pretty cool. It goes over the, uh, the high, not the highway, but Route 29. It goes over top of Route 29. Check that out. Pretty cool. So I was up here a while back with a, I met a guy around my neighborhood and he has a little Ingway and um, it doesn't have, you know, the range like my electric XP with that dual battery and stuff. So I let him ride my electric, but we were riding through here, man, having a blast. We met this other guy who had another Ingway. I forget the name of that model. That one's like a 750 watt motor and stuff. It was like an orange color and he was he was boosted off that thing. He had nothing but good things to say about that bike. I actually gave him my YouTube channel. He was supposed to hit me, but I never heard from him. He acted like he wanted to go riding. Now it was funny because he was telling me his Ingway goes 42 miles an hour out the box. I'm like, come on, man, I'm sitting over there. Now mind you folks, I'm sitting on the big dog. The big dog, the aerial rider Kepler V2. And I got this dude with a little Ingway telling me that his thing go 40 something, 42 miles an hour. Now mind you, this thing do like 34 miles an hour, but how how can I sound like I'm doing something if he's talking about he doing 42, you know what I'm saying? So, but I, I, I didn't know the model he was talking about. So I was like, okay, I, I'll let him talk his talk and um, I'll do some research when I get home. But once I did the research, I mean, I put it this way, y'all. Y'all already know we ain't gotta do research. We know Kepler is the best one of the most powerful fastest bikes that you can get so it's super rare to find something that could even touch this thing but i try to give him the benefit of that i ain't want to jump on him i ain't even know the guy like that oh but he was pumping it up big time that's funny he might be watching the video yeah you were pumping it up dog and if you want to see me Bring your, bring your Ingway, I'll bring the AR Kepler, we can get it in. We'll make a video, we'll show the people. But uh, yeah. Yeah, man, I definitely want to get together with some folks, do some group rides. That'll, that'll be awesome. Like I said, I got my one guy with me. Not right now, but I mean, he goes on rides with me. My wife, she goes on rides with me too, but she doesn't like to go on like every single road so we got our you know specific little spots that we go to but i like obviously taking off from the house and going on all my missions so um so yeah yeah man where i live man there's so many little cuts and everything little paths it's like they, they literally like making everything bike friendly so it's super awesome. And y'all know me, I don't need no bike path. I, I can get busy in the streets or wherever. But it's still nice to have, I'll tell you that much. Oh man, what is going on here? Oh my God, come on. Are we, are we just gonna, I mean, what, 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 are we, what are we doing here? I mean, y'all are absolutely killing me. This, this is the problem, you know what I mean? The etiquette. I mean, you got a path that that, that more than one person is using, but yet then at the same time, you, y'all you, tell you, I mean, you don't see an AR Kepler heading your way? Yeah, man. More people need to know about that AR Kepler. But here we go, here we go for, oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness. Y'all seen that. I rung the bell. Your man didn't even look to see where I was at. He just jumped right in front of me. I mean, he was literally next to the grass. The safest spot would have been going to the left in the grass since you know somebody's coming through on the path, but he jumped right in the middle of the path. This is what I'm talking about you got to deal with when you're on pedestrian land all day. Well, some people don't like to get on the streets because now you're dealing with cars and cars could be, oh, here we go. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Here we go, folks. Wow, you see it right there. He just looked up and see me coming down and decided that's the moment that he needs to walk in front of me. It is absolutely, it, that, it's just crazy, folks. It is just crazy out here. So y'all look at me like I'm crazy when I'm doing my loophole. But look, pedestrians be loopholing all day. Oh, damn. I ain't see this car right here. Uh, we in these streets, folks. We in these streets. We in these streets, folks. Every time I see somebody on the road bike, it's guaranteed that they're staring at this Kepler. Guaranteed. Anytime you see spandex, fixies, whatever you call them, they are staring at that AR Kepler like, what is that? That is boss. And I just stare at him like, hey, yes, sir. Hey, yes, sir. All right, let's, but I was going to go through this little section here, but we're going to bang this left because the AR Kepler set up a little higher than my electric and, and cutting through that spot right there, you got to duck up under these trees and I ain't ducking right now. So we're going to take this route right here. We're going to make this right. Morning. Now that guy was, he said good morning. I said, okay. I was kind of late. I, I wasn't even expecting him to say anything. subscribers man thanks to you guys so i appreciate you 100 bunch of back pass and then we'll be almost at the lake. Time for zombie land. Another headphone bandit. This is just what I love about an e-bike, man. You can't do this with anything else, you know what I'm saying? You can't hop on a car, go on the street, and then hop on a bike path and a trail and all this stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, even with motorcycles, you don't supposed to be back here, so the fact that I can ride in the same streets as a motorcycle, but then I can hop on these paths and all this like regular bicycles is just so versatile, man. Like, I could get anywhere so fast. 
It's crazy. Okay, go, go, go. My guy was walking with his head down. How can you see what, what's ahead of you, my guy? got no puddles back here because it doesn't get as much sun. I love like trails that go up and down and got the windy curves, man. It's awesome. Because I went on a B&A trail one time my electric and that thing was just straight away flat trail all the way for miles and miles and miles i mean it was cool but this is pretty awesome oh, what we got oh i thought that was an e-bike right there he put that smile like he knew he knew what was up he he gave me that you got me dog I just went into a, a cobweb or something on, on my face. Dang it. Over the bridge. So uh, right here, they got a mirror because this is a sketchy little, you can't see what's going on. So they got this little mirror that you see. So we good to go. All right, folks, we almost. Make sure nothing coming that way. But we almost at the lake. I know some people don't like to watch long videos. So I tried to shorten it up by starting over here closer to the lakes instead of from my house. All right, let's bust this left. at the lake. I mean, this Kepler goes 30 miles an hour so fast, it's crazy. I be leaning on this thing, putting my knee out like I'm on some sports moto with this thing. dirty dog don't do me dirty that's when you hit him with the real horn right there <laughs> all right so we at the lake the lake is right here on the left hand side now like i said i'm gonna pull to the pier so we can get a nice little look at it okay we got we got a headphone bandit right here headphone bandit Phone bandit alert. Okay, this lady just, she just seen me coming this way. It, it absolutely blows my mind how somebody can see me coming and literally walk right in front of me and stop. It, it blows my mind. Like she just looked up ahead, seen me, and then figured that this is the perfect time to walk your dog and stand right in front of me. My God, it's crazy. I don't, I don't understand it. This big Clydesdale, this big Bronco's coming towards you, and you like, let me just squat right in front of it. 
Let's see what he does. It's almost like they dare me to hit him. And I'm very respectful when I ride around spots like this. So it's like, it's super annoying when people do irritating stuff like that. It's like, but it's all good, folks. It's part of what you deal with when you ride around a lake. When you gotta when you gotta share the road. It's just like cars don't like seeing e-bikes on the road, but they gotta share the road. Man, going up and down these hills right here on this cap, that's awesome, man. It's absolutely nothing. It's it's like a roller coaster. Okay. I rung it six times. This is a nice little spot. I don't know if y'all can see it out there. Super awesome, man. But yeah, we're going to pull up to the pier real quick. Got a nice little dock right here where you can go out to the edge. Super cool stuff right here. Check this out. Super, super cool, man. Love these lakes. Does the does the AR Kepler have a reverse? <laughs> but we almost to the pier now. Let's get around here. How cool is this, right? Really, really nice, man. That's what I'm saying. You come out here, chill, relax. Yes, sir. Now, look at that. They got a ramp that goes right down into the water, I guess, if you got your boat. Or if you want to see if your, your AR Kepler can swim. Let's see if we can go around these folks right here and navigate these streets. Yes, sir. Now, here we go. Now, why is this lady not moving over? I mean, so you, you literally have to ride and walk in the middle of the road. Really? Crazy, folks. I, I don't understand it. Coming on your left. Thank you. Hey, they, I ain't seen that maneuver. I don't know if y'all caught that. They stiffened up like a board. I said, coming on your left. He, both of them, it was like they stopped. Now, I think they had a cane. I don't know if that lady was beside him was blind and he was like helping him. But man, they, they, they stopped on a dime. I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Because unlike the, the folks that literally jump in front of you. And coming on your left. Thank you. All right, so we got a nice little pier spot right here. How cool is this, folks? Got a little waterfall chumpy down there. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is what it's all about, folks. Super, super awesome. You could just hear that water running right there, creating a soundtrack for your ears. But let's get on around here. Whoa, whoa, okay. Okay, folks. That's the moment your boy Tito almost done hit the rail just now. <laughs> All right, let's try to navigate these streets. Here we go. Here we go. I'm a professional. Don't, don't, don't get it twisted. Oh, here we go, folks. Here we go. Here we go. We might have to do a little off-road action, folks. A little bit of off-road action. Thank you, sir. Uh, so yeah, man. Now that was that was the uh, first half of this lake. 
So now when we turn around up this way, we'll be going back back around to basically doing a full loop around this one. This is Lake Elkhorn. And then on the way back, we're going to do that second half of that other lake, and that'll be it. That'll be the two lakes right there, man. Super sweet. Now, hold on. They used to have a way to get to the little pier. Let's check that out real quick. Let's just go down to the edge here. I mean, just look how beautiful this area is, man. It's just, just amazing. Now, this dude right here, he chilling. I'm about to disturb his zen moment right here. Oh, man, we can't even uh, do a nice little turnaround. But uh, let me let me cut up in the grass right here and do a turnaround. A boss man probably looking at me like, what is he up to? I'm just turning around, my guy. We good. We good, my guy. But yeah, just wanted to give y'all another look, man. Super amazing. Super, super amazing. Got the little benches right here. You can sit down, chill out. Yes, sir. what we got seeing and this is the moment they see me coming towards them but y'all just going okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna just hit you my guy I'll tell you that much right now I'll tell you that much right now you will get hit like I mean I see you with your kids but come on dog I mean they, they, you gotta share the path man somebody gotta give the AR Kepler ain't playing now, that's when I should have used the horn matter of fact that's what I need to do. When, when people take up the lane like that and, and don't don't allow me to get through, I think that that that's uh, permission to give them one of these. There you go. There you go. <laughs> you got folks over there fishing on the pier. I would go down on the pier right there, but uh, I ain't gonna mess with them. Somebody's coming on the left. The lady was like, what? Clueless. Uh, let's see what we got here, folks. My bell, my bell. Coming on your left. Headphone bandit. Yeah, super awesome lake. We're going uphill. Look at this, nothing. Uphill is nothing. on your left I give him a wave. Yeah, so that was Lake Elkhorn. We just did a lap around. And once we make this right right here, we'll be going back up that hill that we uh, came down here from. That's what you could do with a Kepler, you know? Yeah. All right, so we good to go now. All right, good to go now. So let's uh, 
finish this mission out. Let's head back to that other other lake, finish out that other side. The other side of that lake is pretty cool too. So uh, yeah, let's do this, man. I gotta be careful because a lot of leaves over this piece so you could hit a leaf and slide right on out but we definitely getting it in whoa, 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 okay coming on your left Up with the AR Kepler's, man. I'm hearing good news, bad news. I'm hearing some people, you know, the boxes is uh, damaged with the shipping and stuff, and AR's not, you know, trying to uh, let them return it or whatever. I'm hearing, you know, I mean, now this whole warranty thing. I mean, to me, with Area Rider, I, what the thing I don't like is like, obviously, I started my career with my my electric for my e-bikes, and. Um, you know, electric picks up the phone, you know what I'm saying? So you got any issues, you call them up and you talk to them about it, you know what I'm saying? There's not no, you know, where Area Rider, they have a phone number, but I've not heard anybody say that they picked it up. I've called it several times, they never pick it up, and then had the nerve to put a, a recording saying, you know, we're busy, we got too many calls right now. And, uh, but oh, but you can email us though. But ironically, also on the website, any any tab that says contact us, you would think if you're showing us a, a, a phone number and you actually wanted us to use the phone number and you actually were going to pick up the phone, that you would put the phone number under the contact section or help or any of that. But if you notice, anytime you click on anything like contact us, help or anything, it all sends you to an email. It all gives you an email. So there's only one spot on the website where it shows the phone number, but they constantly want to direct you 
to like, okay, email us, email us, which we all know is a joke. I mean, you email somebody, you gotta wait for them to reply. Plus, it allow, an email allows them to know what you're up to before they even have to respond. So you email them, you say, Eric, hey, right, I'm pissed, you know, my bike came in and, and, and it's messed up or y'all ain't doing my warranty right. So now they get to see exactly where you coming from. They get to see that you're angry. They get to see what you're complaining about. And now they have the time, you know, got the time to get their mind right. You know, their, their, their response that, you know, they can take a couple days, get their response how they want to. Whereas like, like electric, if you got an issue, you call them up. I mean, you're right there on the phone with them. I mean, yeah, they could probably try to hang up on you, but you see what I'm saying? Like you got somebody right there. And so that's the part I'm not liking because a lot of people watch my videos and they're like, uh, yeah, you know, that AR Kepler, I watched your video now and bought one. But, you know, the customer service ain't right, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, uh, but what can I do about it, right? I, I'm not affiliated or anything with, with Area Rider, you know. I just got a Kepler and I get it in. Now, we do got a park over there, but we're not going to uh, actually hit the park just gonna uh, finish up that lake and we are good to go Let me come to the left of this guy thank you sir all right let's see what we got here right, he on. coming on your right got some wind folks where is that coming from this is what they call a head wind So I pray to God that I ain't even got to deal with no warranty. Um, so far, everything is so so far so good. Thank you. Now I will be making. I found a, a place that service, services services e-bikes. Um, so I will be making a video on that because, like I said, I have about 500 miles close to 500 miles i'm going to do a 500 mile review but i i plan on taking it to the shop first letting them check it out just to make sure so that way any kind of results that they reveal to me i can let you guys know as part of my 500 mile review now the only problem is the place that i take it to well that i'm going to take it to um they're saying it's a six-day turnaround so my ar kepler it's going to be out of business for six days. So I might have to make some electric videos on my Dualtron scooter. But we'll see. But I definitely going to let, I'm going to make a video when I take it up there. So you guys will see the video. You'll see me take it inside. I'm hoping to get them to talk about the services that, that can be done so, so everybody could know. So, but don't ask me before I put the video out though, but it will, it, I will put it out there for you guys. No, no, no worries. All right, come on, fool. Come on, fool. There you go. And we head back to the lake. That's what I'm saying, man. This area I live is just absolutely insane. Absolutely insane how awesome it is. Now I know when I first started making my videos, everybody was saying, yeah, we're living through you. You know, we're waiting for our Kepler, waiting, waiting, waiting. But like I said earlier, I know videos are popping up, man. Not everybody's waiting anymore. So uh, I know y'all getting it in. So I appreciate the folks that are still watching me. All right, hold on. Let me get through here, cuz. Let me get through here. There you go. What is that? Yeah, I've been loving this Rock Rose bag, man. I've been using it. Y'all see me uh, do that Coles return. I couldn't believe the seat fit in there perfectly. This lady, oh, this guy wasn't even looking at this So 
So this is one of those. I, I actually take the street right here because I'm actually about to make a left right here onto this path. Yeah, man, look at that, man. This AR, I mean, I'm so, I'm just so shocked, man, on the place. I got another video coming of another, as David Brand New would say, another banger for you. But, um, so I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna tell y'all what that is. But yeah, man, it's just amazing how I could get to so many places, man. I got so many more places. It's, it's crazy, crazy, man. If you got your Kepler already, leave it in the comment. Let me know you already rolling, man. Let me know, like, what's the furthest you done rode your bike? Because y'all know me, I get it in. I, I, I love to go far with my thing. So let me know what the farthest, how many miles y'all put on one trip. The farthest ride I've done so far, I believe, was 32 miles is the farthest trip I've done. All right, so we almost back to this tunnel right here that that we went through on the way up. This is where I told y'all I, I met that Ingway guy. So we getting it in, man. That's what I'm saying, man. This thing just moved. We go. Now navigating this other side of the lake, there's a reason why I don't go on this other side too often because it's a lot more madness, a lot more traffic, a lot more. They even have like little concerts that be going on over there. So, but, but we gonna do it though. So right here, if we make this right, that's where we came from earlier and we turned up this hill. So now, like I said, we're actually going the other side of the lake to finish out the entire lake now, basically. This lady is skiing. She's skiing in the, in the, uh, coming on your left. Thank you. Yeah, I remember going around Centennial Lake one time, and this guy was on a one wheel. And he ain't give me no warning or anything. All of a sudden, I, I was trying to get around a pedestrian, so I started cutting to the left. And next thing I know, in my mirror, I could barely see. Look, check this out, y'all. Come on, man. Look how beautiful this is. We about to go down to that dock right there uh, so I can get my thumbnail picture. But man, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful out here. Look at the waterfall, come on. Look at the waterfall. Maybe I should have got the thumbnail right here. That would've been nice. But check that out, folks. All right, let's get around here. It might be a little tricky to get down to that dock. Oh, man. Oh man, huh? It's been a minute since I've been down there. Yeah, maybe we might not try that on the AR. Well, let, let's see, folks. Let's see, folks. Let's see what we can do here. Man, this is sketch. Oh yeah, we got it. We got it. <laughs> Look at this, man. You got your benches right here. You chilling. Look at this, folks. Absolutely amazing. All right, let's see if we can get around here without these gangsters. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on. I ain't realized this was still a step, step down right here. Okay. Oh, no, and it's back a step up. Oh, man, okay. Let's, let's, let's do this here. Okay, we might be good, folks. We will, oh man, this is sketch with all this power. Oh my God. Don't send me into the water, Kepler, please. <laughs> oh man, but check this out, man. This was worth it, man. Look at this.
Check this out, folks. How cool is this? But yeah, let's keep it moving, folks. I gotta be real careful, boy, with this Bronco. Boy, you will be in that water quickly. This will be this. This will turn into a whole nother video. <laughs> Trying to survive the AR Kepler drowning. <laughs> But it is kind of cool because I had planned on going around the top part, but now since we went this way, we can uh, continue on around the bottom part of the dock here. Let's see how we're going to navigate this. Let's, let's cut through here. Of course, we got these folks right here. Hey, all right. all right. But look at this, folks. I mean, tell me this dock is not amazing. You got all these restaurants right up here. Sushi show, Sono. You know what I mean? Now, I got to pay attention, folks. Your man will be in the water tripping. All right, but yeah, let's, let's finish this lake up. Look at this, man. They got these. What is this? Man, this is super awesome. Man. These apartments right here, or condos, overlooking the lake right there. That's that's gangster. Yeah, it's super rare that I come this way. I almost always coming on your left. I almost always go the way we came here on the other side of this lake is the way I always even when I go back I never go back this way I go back that other way but uh so this was kind of a treat to come this way since I ain't been this way in a little while coming on your left two lakes and we're just going back to my starting point which is right at the beginning of this trail right here and that was it man awesome 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 stuff let me know if y'all got some lakes around your way let me know how many zombies be on it Good morning, thank you. <laughs> that lady probably scared the mess out of her looking up seeing this big big AR Kepler. Oh wow, that lady had an e-bike right there. I want to say that was a rad power or something like that. When I first started this video up here, I seen a rad power. But yeah, man, appreciate y'all watching. Like I said, that was it. I started this video from right over here where the um, trail starts, so appreciate y'all and uh catch y'all in the next one man we got a bunch more videos to come